Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to today's webinar with Captivated. I'm Greg Woodbury with Real Green Systems and want to let you know too, my partner in crime, usually Carl is not here today. It's his birthday, so he's off. So I've got my special guest, Beth Berry. You all know her from Facebook Live. So she has jumped in today to help out. And then of course, we have got Brian with Captivated, our integrated texting uh, partner with our service assistant five. So we've got some great information to cover today for you guys in about 30 minutes, hopefully. Um, so without further ado, Brian from Captivated. Um, one of the things that really surprised me from the get go, Brian, when we first started meeting um, was when we started talking about how email was on the decline and text messaging was on the incline and becoming much, much more popular popular, uh, just because of the speed, how fast uh, you can get a response in text versus email. Can, can I say one thing, Greg, before I hand sure. this over to Ryan? So about a year and a half ago, the uh, product team, Caitlin Pomeroy, Mike Carden, and I, we were looking at potential text partners, and we had four really quality um, candidates come to the table and they were all recommended by our real green customers at the user conference they said we use this we use this and a couple of them said we use this company captivated and so we went down a journey of who can we identify that would be best in class for real green customers that we take the time to fully integrate bi-directional texting so if you've used service assistant you know you can do some outbound texting for sure but our customers were clamoring for the bi-directional texting they wanted the label of Go Green, not Greg Woodbury, in case Greg Woodbury needs leaves the next week. Not that that would ever happen, Greg. And so, wow, when we met with Brian and his team, it, it became very clear that they solved the entire picture at a price point that I think is undeniable from an ROI. And Real Green customers have been loving this since last October. So Brian, thank you for being our partner. Thank you for providing superior service to our clients and filling out a need that, quite frankly, we couldn't get to right away. Not that Real Green couldn't have ever developed this feature set, but it just wasn't imminent on the road path, roadmap, and you have certainly stepped up. So thank you for everything you've done. No, it's been our pleasure. We've been at this for a little over six years, and we have a, a CRM background ourselves, as you guys know, so we know a little bit about communication. And, you know, my old company, we sent hundreds of millions of emails on our client's behalf and queued up that many phone calls. So it really recognized to your point, Greg, that that those two channels aren't as good as they as they once were. And if you look at our 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 loose uh, agenda here today, we're going to definitely want to uh, take questions on the fly because I, I, I fear that if we don't do it as we go through this, we might not get to them all. So anybody, is it, do you have a chat available for people, Greg? Yep, yep. on the right-hand side in the chat window, just go ahead and post your questions in there and we'll uh, get those answered today. If we don't, then we'll definitely reach out to everybody over the next couple of days and get those answered for them. Perfect. Well, thank you for allowing me the time to spend uh, with you and, and the audience. And we're gonna talk a little bit about why texting, even though it's pretty apparent, we're, we're gonna cover that and have some statistics to back it up. Uh, we're going to talk about use cases of managing text through the sales process or with sales leads. And then, of course, customer support or account management. And then even in-service texting or upselling. And then we're going to go through some examples of good and some some uh, samples that really need improvement. And then, of course, Q&A throughout, throughout our time together. Uh, let me jump in. And, you know, as we mentioned, there's two channels historically for business communication, email, the average email is not even looked at or open for 90 minutes in this country. The average voicemail is not heard for eight hours if it's listened to at all. Obviously, what's the alternative? And we needed we needed to come up with with one that everybody uses. And texting is just is it. The average text message is looked at in 90 seconds. Um, here is a video, and I may skip it for the sake of time. But anybody who at the end we have a call to action where you can get this deck sent to you. But if you know Gary Vanderchuk, he's a big guru in social media or social 
uh, marketing and and he talks about in this 90 or 70 second or 90 second video whatever it is talks about um, how people really are almost disliking getting phone calls that are unexpected and one of the things the themes that you'll see in our best practices when you're when your staff is making outbound calls or making outbound emails we just recommend that you push those um, you know help move that along by saying, hey, do you have a moment for a quick call? So you'll you'll see that throughout our best practice uh, material. I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna skip this just because I think we'd run out of time. Watch this, I'm gonna show you something really fascinating. Do but the obvious benefits to both you and your customers, speed, convenience, clarity. Let's look at a couple of these stats, a few of my favorites, we're not gonna cover them all. But age 45 to 65, and these stats are from three years ago, that we've been collecting. Age 45 to 65, age range, is soon to meet or exceed messaging by those in their 20s. What does that mean? People ask me, I saw one, one uh, survey where it said that people over 60 were texting more and more and more, and when asked why in the survey, they said it's the only way they can reach their kids and their grandkids. So everyone knows how to text. Everyone knows how to text you a photo. Everyone knows how to text. Um, and reach out to people. So it's, it's not something you need to train your customers on. But the other one that uh, I definitely wanted to, to mention, it, it's really important that we text enable your business line because I think one of the, the, the my favorite calls to action when you, start, when you start down this road is to be able to tell your audience, hey, to better serve you in 2021, you can now call or text our office and it's the exact same number. It's not a separate number, it's not some short code that feels like it's just a marketing piece, it's a real number. And that is far superior to best point that of, of texting from 19 different people on your team, right? If you have five different technicians that service my lawn this year, I if I get five different phone numbers, I'm gonna be as confused as ever. With Captivated, all of that comes from one, one place. Um, look at this stat, outbound calls, right? 64% of respondents say they never answer calls from unknown numbers. That's getting worse and worse because of uh, the, the tremendous number of spam calls that we receive. Nobody, we're trained, basically, customers are getting trained to never pick up their phone because of spam. Uh, <clears throat> when we look at inbound, customers form an impression of your business in the first seven seconds of contact. Well, what does that mean? Well, think about your busy season and the putting people on hold. I love I love the the next stat from look at who it's from Woman's World magazine. Someone my age just turned 60. The, the we've been put on hold in our lifetime. We spent about a year of their life on hold, our life on hold. We can't always just blame Comcast, right? When we call a business, we want to connect. So therefore, people stop calling. They're just trying to figure out another way to reach businesses. Um, inbound auto attendance. People are, for, you know, they don't leave voicemail because they just think it's going to take too long to get somebody live. So phone and email is just tough sledding these days. And we try to create this other channel for your audience to, to reach you easily. And, and you can be responsive. In fact, our very first tagline was real conversations real fast. Um, I like, I've, I've shared this with, and one of my, one of my favorite uh, financial advisors said, you know, Brian, if I don't have a texting relationship with my client, he's probably not a very good client. And I think the ultimate goal, and many of you have tens of thousands of customers, some have, you know, you have, you're a nice growing business with a couple thousand customers. Well, the goal is obviously to build that trusting relationship. And and you, you wanna go from sounding like a business to sounding like a friend in your dialogues, right? And that's why we have the salutation fields. That's why we try to make it sound like, hey, Beth, we'll be out to treat your lawn tomorrow. Let us know if there's anything we need to pay special attention to, right? Things like that. It doesn't sound like we will be at your lawn tomorrow. You know, it, it's got to feel like they can just quickly respond and say, hey, could you come next week? We've got a tent set up for my, for my uh, daughter's graduation. And then you have that template that says, no problem, we'll be out next week. So it's just about quick, efficient communication. Um, we're going to talk again about the sales process using our templates, customer support and account management, and then of course, in-service text by technicians. One thing that's important too, I think from an admin standpoint, we have the ability and it's very, very important nowadays, 
that we can help you collect terms and conditions. And Beth can speak to this because she helps uh, people across the country with trying to manage this, this issue. But we do have the ability to collect signatures and surveys and, and collect things via text. But if you need to get the T's and C's uh, signed and dotted, we, we want to help you do that. And we can do that via text. So let's just look at a couple of these templates. And, and, and again, all these will be available to you. But one of my favorite things, is, and look at, hi, Brian. This is Mike with ABC Lawn. Thanks for reaching out regarding our service. You have a moment for a quick call, so I'm going to provide you with an accurate estimate. This is during the sales process. I like doing, I like getting that contact card, right? Push your business card into someone's phone because we're not walking around face to face, handing people our business cards like we used to. So nothing, what's the next best thing? Well, it's even better than a paper business card. It won't get lost. Push that business card into everyone's phone. Um, when you start getting, asking for, you know, estimates for those who don't have that cool lawn bot feature and they, they want a custom estimate or they want to say, hey, listen, I know you've got the square footage in our yard, but we've got this big wild area that we don't treat. Um, you know, you could send them a quick link that says, hey, I'd love to see that. Let me shoot you a quick link and we can do a quick video chat. You can show it to me. What a better way to get the buy in from a client because now they see that you see their issue or their, their request. So leverage our video chat tool, leverage photos, let them send you a, an image of what they're concerned about. And then of course, when you send an estimate or you get someone an estimate, you can text it to them with our system, you can send attachments, but more importantly, even if you send an email or you leave a voicemail, go ahead and, and uh, text them. Hey, I, your, your uh, estimate should be in your inbox. Please feel free to get back to me as soon as you can if you have any questions, et cetera. So sometimes it's, it's like a boxing match, right? The email is the is the is the left jab, and the text is the right hook to make sure you wake them up to go read the email. And so we're we're big big fans of of multi threading, right? You want email, call, text, three different, uh, and you're likely to get the best response from the text, right? And of course, the the most common one is do you have a moment for a quick call? If you lead with that call, you're you're probably going to go to voicemail. If you lead with a text, they're going to say what? They're going to say, can you call me back in five minutes or four o'clock today's great? Or if they say, call me tomorrow, the nice thing about Captivated, of course, for those uh, existing users, you know, you can schedule that. You can even schedule for a coworker. I could say, hey, Beth, can you call Mr. Jones tomorrow regarding this estimate? I'm going to be out of the office. So it works very, hand very, very easy to work. Um, customer service. Obviously, you guys deal with unhappy customers. You deal with customers that want to reschedule. You, you are dealing with customers that, that are past due. All of those uh, instances, you can, what's the most important thing from a customer service perspective? Well, we just talked about it. And we, and that is you've got to be responsive and you want to be fairly quick, right? People don't expect text messages to linger forever, but that's why we have auto responses. That's why we have after hours cues that's why we have you can have be on call for your sales team can be on call after hours and handle evening leads or weekend leads to set yourself apart from the competition so even transfers you know you think about how when i call a business and somebody puts me on hold i get you get that little panic feeling like uh oh i wonder when they're coming back or if they say they're going to get somebody else for me and then you know we've all been through that where i i spend a minute uh, telling somebody my issue and then they they're going to transfer me over to somebody and I have to retell my story with Captivated all of that's in writing and you just bring in the, the person the right person into the conversation and they can handle it from there and that's why I like these if you look at these transfer templates at the bottom here thanks you know thanks Mike let me transfer you over our sales team to assist you with this or hey salutation uh, Maddie may know the answer to this let me add them to the conversation so again, it's team texting kind of on steroids with our scheduling and our uh, all the attachments and all the cool things that you can do. So we're, we have uh, all these templates available to you, but make sure you look at the look at the theme behind all these. They're fairly quick, right? There's no there's nothing that looks like it should be an email. There's nothing that looks like a book. If you do have attachments, we we had some um, 
customers, uh, Real Green customers that did a great job if somebody had a question about watering or they wanted to uh, have a kind of a preemptive strike when grass goes to seed and they want to, they don't want a million people calling thinking that it's a weed, they're going to go ahead and broadcast that message out and say, hey, don't panic. It's that time of year again where grass is going to reseed. This is normal. This is healthy, et cetera, right? So we can do things like that to help you cut down that inbound phone traffic where there's concerns. So the other the other thing that you want to do, and, and it's in the best practice document that we, we're going to share, is make sure you let your customers know that they can text you. And what better way to do that than if you're going to e maybe email everyone, say, hey, if you have a question or a quick question or you have concern, feel free to text or call this number. I would, you know, don't be afraid to get that uh, wrap changed on your trucks or a magnet that says call or text instead of just call, 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 call. Make sure that people know they can call or text your main number. And uh, it, it will re really revolutionize the way people think about your business. Um, so, and Greg's got this pulled up. We can look at it in the end if we have time, but we have the ability obviously to send out of, out of SA5 directly through Captivated. The benefit is we've queued up essentially a two-way conversation. If I get a message saying you're going to be out to treat my lawn tomorrow, great. And I need you to come next week because we've got whatever going on then I don't, you're not forcing me to call you. I can just simply reply. So it really does make it more uh, efficient for me to get back to you and for you to say no problem. And again, you're creating that friendly conversation versus something that feels like a formal, uh, something that I have to jump through hoops to do. Uh, <clears throat> one of the things that you'll see that your technicians, now not all of our Real Green users have their technicians using Captivated with Mobile Live or on their mobile devices, but it is a powerful, powerful tool. Videos, video chat, photos, um, you know, high salutation. Here's a video showing the blank items that need attention. Let me know if you'd like us to treat this today. I'm a big fan of, of asking a question, right? If you need to get somebody on the phone, just asking the question, hey, do you have a moment for a quick call? It will it will definitely get them to respond to you. I, I see it over and over, and we, we see millions and millions and millions of conversations a month, and uh, we know what works. So quick call with topic from a, if a, some, one of your technicians needs to reach a, a client that's got an issue, if they just ask for a quick call to, to go through it with them. But it, it definitely is a, a super powerful to, to leverage our photos and our videos from the field. Um, Brian, I, Brian, real ahead. quick. I know, I know. A lot of times, uh, customers they feel overwhelmed when we start talking about all the different templates that are there. Which one of those do you feel that really? That's let's just start with one or two templates, and let's walk before we run. Which ones in that group there do you think are the most important to start with, or um, you, the ones you see that are started with the most? Yeah. So we see the needs attention with video. I said, here's a video showing your that needs attention. Let me know if you'd like to treat that today. Then, of course, you can even get into the pricing and get approval. Um, we're big fans of getting approval in writing. That way you have it stored permanently, even if the customer deletes it from their phone. Um, but quick call is, you know, is is a if you want if you don't mind your your technicians talking to the customers, then this quick call one is is very powerful. Uh, you can also, the nice thing is a technician can take the photo, take the video, they can invite someone from the office or a sales member into the conversation and say, hey, can you talk to Mr. Smith about this? They really need to treat this. We got we to get a handle on it right now, right? So it's, it's about um, leveraging the camera on their device and either video or photo and or video chat and, and getting that in front of the eyes of the customer because um, they don't know what they don't know, right? And if you guys, let's face it, the technicians are the experts. They see the lawn every, you know, so many weeks and they know what's going on. And it just, it's a great way to keep the customer, besides the after service um, email, this is a great way to, even if you had a template that said, hey, there's some important information coming your way after service email, please pay attention to fill in the blank. We've got some good examples here in, in coming up and some live examples that we captured. But I, I'm a big fan of just the, either the call or, 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 hey, here's a photo. Here's what we're seeing. Uh, let me know if you'd like us to tackle this today. 
I like that one too. It helps with the customer retention and your upsells both. Right, right. And you know what? It's okay to send them a photo of when everything's great. If the only time that you ever reach out to them is when there's an issue, you're not really gaining that trust, right? It's sometimes it's good to just build that relationship that says, hey, everything's looking good. Um, I'm a big fan of the of the pre-service ones to say, instead of just saying, we'll be out to service your lawn, go ahead and ask, say, is there anything you want us to pay attention to? And, and all of a sudden, they, because they don't know that it went to 348 people at once that they got that message because it's personalized with salutation, right? And it, it they can respond, say, no, every, we're all good, right? Even if you're just trying to get them to understand that this is a trusted two-way conversation and it's personalized, it's not one to many versus saying, hey, everyone, <laughs> hey, dear valued customer. I mean, that, that might as well be for those of us old enough that sounds like Ed McMahon mail, right? Where the where my name was capitalized and everything else was lowercase. So if you look at some of these really great examples, look at, hi, Doug, it's Pam from Mutual Lawn. We're about to service your property tomorrow for your spring aeration or, or, and or seating, three in one application. Please have, thank you. Please call or text with any questions. What a great call to action, call or text with any questions. It's not forcing them to call, not forcing them to text, giving the customer a choice. Um, look, somebody texted in, I'm interested in getting an estimate for some lawn care basics, and they got the automatic reply. I did have folks on, and then you, you got a nice response there. Um, the one down below, somebody sent a picture of this weed, and look at the nice quick response. It shows you that a customer can text in, and you know, you have chickweed, we can do one spray, quoting you for seeding post spray. There's a nice, I mean, again, leveraging photo, lever, leveraging photos. Um, look at, I love the word concerned. You can submit picture of the spots you are concerned. Concerned, if I'm concerned and I'm the expert, then they should be concerned. Concerned is a powerful word. Hey, Mr. Smith, I'm concerned about this. Do you want, do you have a moment for a quick chat or do you want me to send you a video, right? Um, I love this one over here on the right. We can take care of that under the deck. Look at here's a little upsell. Typically do that once now, once later, and they get the 20 perfect. Let's add that as well. You know, you see these these quick informal conversations where customers just want to respond and and uh, you know they'll spend the extra money. And so again, you guys uh, at the end of this, you'll be able to we'll be able to send this to you. Here's your price for aeration. Just a, a lot of, let's go to one more good examples. Now this, um, you guys already have the payment. Uh, we, we can put a link in the announcement right to your payment, the Real Green Payment Portal. Um, we had one, one customer here from last year was doing a nice job. Ben was doing a great job of getting his branding out there. He would send this announcement as a, uh, a little JPEG, right? Because it looks good and has his brand and he would capture Google reviews that way. You see here um, on the right, again, another photo. And there's somebody inside, you notice that they use notes to communicate with their team to, to get uh, educated on what this was, right? So they're communicating internally using Captivated. Here's a, here's a nice announcement. Out oh, next few days, please, please let us know if you have any questions. Again, what is so great about that? Please let us know if you have any questions. That you're 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 driving two-way communication, which drives trust. Um, <clears throat> for those of you doing projects, again, a great way to uh, say, hey, here's our final payment. You can push them to your portal, but I just want to show you how people use it for that. Um, you can, if you're coming out, if you are a project more project-based, and you want to send a photo of who's coming out, you know, or if somebody demands kind of an in-person meeting or a face-to-face -face estimate, you can send a photo of who's coming. Uh, and you'll see that one of the things that I really like about this particular company, again, for those listening that do projects and landscaping or irrigation, if you send photos and keep the customers updated via photo, look at these reviews that they received. You explain the process, introduce the crew, I was sent photos of the person, get the schedules, began a text thread, which continued until the job was finished. And then you go down to the bottom, one of my favorites. Um, 
it was nice to have you know it it basically the the whole concept of pictures i wanted to show you the value of keeping customers informed for those of you who do again who do projects so you know here's some bad examples right i and this i just took a screenshot of unanswered conversations you guys have on your dashboard you can see of unanswered conversations per queue well captivated is is meant to be <laughs> real conversations real fast but not when you have conversations sitting in a queue so you want to make sure you have it properly managed don't just have one or two people on your team managing the queue even if you only have one or two people in the office have uh, whether it's an owner or a few other people even with the mobile device managing conversations so when they come in you're encouraging these two-way conversations but you don't want to let them sit and then you also don't want to have conversation messages that look like they should have been uh, emailed right this is not an email system it's a text system you can add attachments you can do things like that but if you have a lot of information like this put that actually in the form of a pdf or a word doc and and you can have it as an attachment and it's fewer characters it'll come in and say here's some important information but a lot of people with watering tips or certain you know seasonal tips that can go out in the form of a branded um, PDF, for example. And then last but not least, be sure to use the, the merge fields properly. If you don't do the double brackets, <laughs> you'll get, that's how they received that. They still responded, okay, thanks. But that that's literally how what the customer received. Hey, Br so, Brian, got, Brian got one question. Uh, maybe you can go a little more in depth in how um, a technician in the field might respond to, to a text message or how that gets routed to the proper person. Um, sure. Within Captivated. Yeah, let me let me uh, pull up Captivated and show you. For those who can pull it up real quick here. So, <clears throat> if I needed to, so here I was just working with Chuck Williams and we had a little demo and we sent him a sample voice memo. But if I needed to get a coworker involved, I could simply do at a car you know, say hello to, so this could be if, if if this person called in was a customer and I wanted to get a technician and this was my technician, you know, I could say, you know, please take a photo of Mr. Williams' fence line. And then he could go in and actually add a photo right to this note. And then we could have that conversation with Mr. Mr. Williams and I could put in here, ignore, but Mr. Williams didn't get that. That's just an internal conversation about Mr. Williams. Okay, so that's how you can get very easily, you can see who's involved, who owns the conversation. If I need to transfer this over, we do have keyword transfers. So some of the larger Real Green customers we have, um, needless to say, based on phone numbers, they'll automatically route to the right office or to the right queue. Um, if for those of you who handle, uh, might have a special team that does projects or landscaping, it'll automatically route to the, you can route leads to the, to the landscaping team. Um, so this inbox can be, even though I'm looking at my active conversations, I can also, as a supervisor, I can go into everyone's conversation to see who's talking and jump in and actually coach if I wanted to. I can look at scheduled messages, conversations that I need to reply to. It's very easy to manage your inbox, um, but it's also very easy to, to bring in a coworker. And again, here's how easy I could invite a, co a customer into a video chat. So did that answer? It's, it's, it's really, a they get a push notification immediately to their phone, Greg. So the minute I add that technician, they'd get a push notification to their tablet or their phone, whatever device they're using. If I add, if I added, ask them to, to look at something or to talk to Mr. Smith or whatever, right? Yep. And that would be through the Captivated app and to kind of just give you some clarity on, on that too. So the initial um, conversation would be started in Service Assistant 5. So for example, if we were doing a pre-service notification, letting the customer know that, hey, we're gonna be out tomorrow, we're gonna do that through our own service list and push that out uh, to them. But if they reply to you, 
then all of the continued conversation would be within the captivated app. Yep. So there was a <clears throat> owner of our office building actually. So, but you can see how the technician could add a photo that, and again, that could all be driven because again, that pre-notification text went out and the and you said at the end of that notification, you said, hey, is there anything you'd like to pay, to pay attention to on this visit? And the customer says, hey, can you take a look out my mailbox? I think there's, you know, maybe some, some kind of chickweed or something going on there. And now all of a sudden we're going to get video or photo evidence. We share it with the customer. We uh, give them the recommended treatment and we upsell them. And if they, if they gave us a yes answer to treat it and they deleted it, that, that, that entire conversation from their phone, we'd have a transcript of that and could send it over and say, here's where you approve the $64.30 for this treatment. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, so all the conversations are kept there uh, and captivated, which is really nice to have everything centrally located there. They're also available directly within the, the customer profile page within, within SA5. So, and when you pull up Mr. Smith's record, then Mr. Smith's entire text history will be available through our browser extension. So you basically can run captivated. So if this was SA5 here, I can I can run, I can see everything. And the, ben, the, the reason this is more powerful than just a note getting shoved into, your, into SA5 is it's live. So if I need to say gate, if I want to say, hey, I'm, I'm at your property and the gate's locked. Hey Chuck, we arrived at your home gate is locked is there someone here who could open it right so i can do that very quickly um brian you said profile page greg exactly where is it in sa so that's going to be must be linked when they open up their actual account then, the, okay. then that would pop up that's there in the right hand yeah. corner yeah i do have a i do have a snapshot of that but it's where you can see the entire so when you're on the call log and you click on that you know you click on the customer number it opens up the yep. customer then then automatically the, the Real Green programmers did a great job of mapping our browser extension. So we have the entire history. It doesn't matter if it's two, three, 10 years old, we'll have that entire text history right here. We can still do all the same things. We can transfer, we can invite coworkers, we can schedule messages from here. We can add attachments. If somebody says, hey, can I get a copy of my, my latest invoice or whatever, right? You can, you can add attachments very easily push your business card over to them so it, it it's we're this is not a limited our browser extension is not a limited access tool it's fully functional right from within sa5 any other questions go ahead and put those in the chat on the right hand side, we're pushing up against 335. Um, it's so awesome, Greg. When you're doing inbound customer service, which I've done for 30 years in this industry, and I've used service assistant for most of it, it was always incredible to have all the call log activity, but now to have bi-directional texting when you're talking to customers, that's something. I can take pressure off the phone too, right? It, because I know in the springtime, the phones can blow up. And to be able to give give the audience give your audience an, an option to call or text just is a game changer. Well, in the scenario that you brought up, Brian, you know we're at your house, the fence is locked. If you call me right now while I'm on this webinar, do you think I'm answering that phone call? No. But if I get a quick text, I might be able to say code is five eight zero six. You know, it, when our customers, technicians, have to make repeat visits back to their customers' homes. You are burning gas, you're burning time, it cuts into the ROI, the efficiency, and the customer is not happy because they wanted you to take care of it on that day. Right. Well, people are texting. Right. We're loving the collections. Um, Sarah from Turf Masters has just found that to be incredible functionality. It is actually legal. You guys do the heavy lifting on that opt-in piece, but they are seeing really fantastic results using captivated bi-directional text to up their game and collections right for sure we have we have quite a few businesses not not just our our green customers but it 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 definitely will get someone's attention 
and you know the the dreaded leaving voicemails for people is just is not as efficient for sure. Um, one of the thinking out of the box, and, and we'll just throw this out there. I, I've got a, I had a this was a different industry, but the very first time that someone connected and opted in, if you will, they they're sending a, a little video message from the owner that says, "Hey, thank you for choosing us this year to take care of Boom, and we look forward to serving you uh, for your." basically selling them on the benefits of using this text channel for your for your convenience we we made it very simple for you to communicate with our office via text and so it's basically the owner of the business doing a, almost a selfie video feels very personalized feels like the you know you've got a friend right immediately you you there's a there, you're not just dealing with brick and mortar you're dealing with with someone who cares about your cares about your lawn cares about you One of the uh, questions we got here, Brian, when sending a note to a coworker and they're not a supervisor, would you need to invite them to the chat first or do you need to just type the at symbol? Um, depends on how we have your account set up. If you have uh, many, many users, then our team will go in and set that up. No, we can set it up so it'll automatically invite them regardless of, because we have three roles in our system. Administrators can see everything, managers can and do everything, managers can see everything, other people's conversations and members uh, can take conversations from the queues that they're assigned to or conversations that they initiate. So there's three different levels there of security and permissions. And but when when we do that at symbol in the notes, that is something. And by the way, you know, you just text our support team and they can set that up for you if it's not set up already. Um, but that's a fairly straightforward add-on for us in one of our automated processes very similar to keyword routing right so we have some businesses based on a keyword coming in and i, I might have mentioned this before if, if you were texting a car dealership and you mentioned the word corvette we would route you to the corvette team right or if i'm if you mentioned uh christmas decorations it would go to the the team that handles you know the the winter uh offering that you have so it's just a, a really neat way to manage kind of a little bot technology, but really back to our, our tagline, we want to get your customer talking to somebody, the right person as quickly as possible. Two other questions, I'll take both of these. Uh, necessary to use the call log feature? Um, no, it's not necessary. You don't have to use the call log feature when you're using this. And then the other one is, um, is this replacing AMA textings feature and is it handled in house? So the, the big two, differences or the big difference here between the two is AMA is going to be done automatically and so whenever you print those invoices those text messages are going to go out automatically you don't have to think about it don't have to have somebody in the office do it as opposed to with captivated you do need to run um, your unservice list to generate those pre-service text messages um, to be sent out Any other last minute question? Go Greg, ahead. on AMA, they can't, the customer can't reply back, correct? But on Captivated, they can? Uh, AMA, they can, but it goes back to the company email. That's right, that's right. Yeah. Just their generic email on, fi on, the, on file. Yeah, Beth, the primary, obviously, the it, it's great that it's automated. The downside is that it won't generate a two-way conversation, a, a real conversation anyway. Yep. Yep, it's delivering one message, yeah. All right, that's all the questions I have. Anything else you want to add in, Beth? Gosh, I don't think so. Other than if you attended Solutions, we talked about delivering to your customers at the time of sale. For years, Greg, our customers will send a new homeowner letter and it says, we'll be out year after year, blah, blah. And it somewhat includes terms and conditions, but the Mac Daddy of our business, True Green, whenever you want to know, is is this something I should do legally? Always go to TrueGreen.com, see how they handle it. They've spent more more money on attorneys than the rest of us. We are coming up with a process with which you can provide new sales 
an opportunity to see your terms and conditions and agree to them, which if you're in the state of Colorado, we had class action suits on that in the green industry and it's picking up steam everywhere. So I'm really excited about the opportunity to use Captivated for that functionality as well. Yeah, that's 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 critically important and it gets it done quickly. We have we have a couple clients that are because we can collect signatures via text and it, I think that's that's a home run. Yeah, New York, Minnesota, those states already need the signature, but this is great for for TNC. Perfect. Greg, you're a good host. I didn't know you were this good. <laughs> I hopefully get. I was gonna hopefully get invited to your show. You know it. Get invited. How about take over, buddy? You can be my substitute. <laughs> All right. So I think that's about it. We've gone over a little bit. I appreciate everybody sticking around today. Um, our next webinar is going to be two weeks from today at 3 p.m. and that's going to be with Cole March. Special thanks to Brian from Captivated today. Of course, text loyalty. 833-316-3188 and get a copy of today's presentation along with the 10 best practices. Reach out to your account management team if you guys have any questions on the Service Assistant 5 portion of how uh, to execute those text messages. And of course, we can also pass you along Brian's information and schedule a full demo on their solution as well. Um, also want to say thanks. Thank you, Beth, for jumping in today. Appreciate it. A pleasure. So everybody else, uh, we will see you in two weeks. Everybody have a great spring, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Greg. You're welcome, Brian. Thank you. Bye-bye. Yep.